Okay, I got this box from WCP Models. We're going to open it up. Um, WCP is, is Will and Cat. They're in Scotland. They're, I like them. They're really cool people. Will does some really excellent work. Cat can paint really well. Um, and they'll do whatever you want to do, but you got to communicate with them. And that's what I want to advise before I even get started. Make sure you really communicate with Will and Cat and work out shipping. It's not this if you're in the United States. If you're in the UK, I don't know anything about that. But in the US, most of the shipping vendors are just horrible. And uh, this came by UPS. I didn't know that it was going to be signature required. If I had known that, I would have had it sent to my shop. But I didn't. So anyway, and UPS, they don't do the thing anymore where um, if you're not home, they leave a slip. You sign the slip. They come back the next day. They pick up the slip. They leave your package. They won't do that anymore. Now if they come and you're not home, they just automatically take it to a... a a drop-off facility, which for me is a CVS pharma pharmacy on the other side of Livonia. And that's not too bad. It's not that bad to drive. FedEx is really bad. They're like the under, other side of Lincoln Park. It takes me like an hour and 40 minutes to make a round trip to them. So definitely make sure you communicate and ask. If you're in the United States, make sure to ask about shipping. How are you going to ship it? How much is it going to cost? Well, somebody have to sign for it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Will doesn't mind. Um, Making things clear, you know, it's better for all involved. Now, what do we got in here? Okay, I don't think that's <laughs> what this really is. Okay, here's here's the driver. Now, Will also prints the driver. There's some other goodies in here as well. Printed resin parts, we'll get to those. Now here's the driver. Will says he fits. I won't have to cut off his legs or nothing. He's got the seat molded on. So I'll put him down in there probably with some zap goo so that I can remove him later if I ever need to. Yeah, another thing about uh, UPS, I don't know if they got a minimum or what, but they got this package marked as 10 kilos, which is 22 pounds, and I weighed it, and it's 8 pounds. So I don't know if they got a minimum or if they just, like, stuck us for some extra there. It's definitely very well packed. I'm quite confident that there isn't any damage here. This is what came out of the box. And that's it. We'll see you next time. <laughs> oh. Oh, I hope I don't have to take this off one layer at a time. I think I do. Slide this out. I did mention that this is a SD KFZ 251, I believe I'll see. If I can get this all apart without dropping anything, we'll be good to go. Now mine came just in primer. Pretty sure Will is only selling these in kits. And I have to ask him about price, but it's a lot. Of course, I'm a cheap bastard, so to me, everything's a lot. That's definitely, I think, a better price than some of the comparable offerings in the market. Now, I worked with Will from the start on this, so I ended up ordering my own tracks from Asia Tan. But Will has metal tracks for these, if you want them. And we got more goodies in here. Oh, this looks like seats. So even on mine, it's going to be some assembly required. Uh, that's a magazine for some kind of scale rifle. So there we have the half track itself as it comes out of the box. 
the doors work. Now we'll put an ESC in mine for me. Um, if you obviously if you get the kit, you'll have to figure all that out for yourself. But he knows what he's used and has videos of everything that he's used. So and you know, like I said, he's really good about communication. Talk to the man. Now the back doors are functional and that's pretty slick. They function just like the real thing. Okay, so these are the Asia Tam metal tracks. What's with this big rod sticking out of here, William? Uh, the metal tracks and this thing has a working suspension. Okay, the suspension all works on this. Will's got some video up of this particular model in action. And he's got torsion bars for every one of those road wheels. So it's got working suspension. It's already assembled. Uh, like I said, you'll have to get with Will. The front wheels spin real nice. Obviously, there's still work that has to be done to it. I'll need to add things like headlights and uh, there's other accessories that have to be added. Got to put in the driver. Wish you guys could see down in here. Let's give it a try. Uh, no, you're not gonna. I don't think there's enough light to see down in there. But it's got uh, it's got a fairly detailed interior in there. There's radios and steering wheel and all that stuff is in place. And then uh, these have got to be the batteries that go to the controller. I'll have to ask Will about that. But anyway, there she is, the SDKFZ 251C half track from WCP Models in Scotland. Sounds, feels really good. He's got motors and everything in there. The motors are, well, you can't see, they're underneath this control board. That's one thing about these, man. They are really tight for space. There's no place to hide anything in there. Hoping I can get a battery under the seats. Even the boxes on the side, even though they do open, there's so little space in there. It'd have to be one tiny little battery. But you know what? I bet a, uh, a DOS Micro would fit in there. And that would give me sound. Very good quality of print. There's going to need some cleanup. We might be able to make the exhaust functional. Here in the servo, Bill's got the servo in there. Let me just give you a shot of the front suspension and how all that works. All right, so, and that is, that front suspension is also functional. Okay? I think this is probably the best quality 251 on the market today. Um, I suppose you could make an argument for Ludwig's stuff, but that's definitely a kit and probably twice the price. What do we got here? Okay, he doesn't have it locked down. I'm going to be able to take this off. The top will come off, I think. Got to look and see how he's got it. No, he's got screws in there. We'll check it all out. So anyway, there she is, the 251. Hope that helps. See you next time.